super excited to do this video. What is accountability? It's something that can help you achieve more in life than you've always wanted to achieve. It's not a job. It's not a punishment. Owning what you're supposed to do. Own your action, to own your results, to own your outcome. Every day is not gonna be easy. Some days will be easier than others, but own that action. If you say you are going to start a business, own it and start the business and see it through until you actually start it. And even after you start it, don't quit because things get hard. Don't give up because things get hard. Keep going and just own the fact that you said, you know what, I'm gonna start a business. This is my goal. This is my vision concerning the business and see it through until you get to where you wanna be concerning that business. Freely choosing. It's literally freedom of choice. Give the people what they want, baby. If you haven't started the business that you've always wanted to start it, it's on you. If you haven't pursued that dream, if you haven't pursued that goal. Hey friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video to my amazing supporters. Thank y'all so much for tuning back in to another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so that you can continue to enjoy some amazing, amazing content. It will truly mean a lot to me. Today is Saturday, February 25th. It's currently 9.43 p.m. I'm super excited to do this video. I'm gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna talk about accountability and having an accountability partner because I feel like it's going to help a lot, a lot of people. First, I'm going to share with y'all what is accountability. I have my notes here, y'all. I took some notes. Y'all know I always got to keep my notes because I don't want to miss anything. I got to give y'all all the tea, all the details, all the information that y'all need to help y'all to have the best year of you guys' life. What is accountability? Accountability is the obligation or the willingness to accept responsibilities for your action. That's all accountability is. Now, I'm gonna share with y'all what accountability is not because sometimes I feel like accountability is associated in a negative way, but over the years I've learned it's not a negative thing. It, it's not a negative thing. It will actually keep you out of a lot of problems, keep you out of a lot of trouble, and it's actually more of a positive thing than a negative thing that people paint it as. Accountability, first of all, like I said, it's not a negative thing, okay? It's not, baby, it's absolutely not. It's a positive thing. It's something that can help you achieve more in life than you've always wanted to achieve. It's not a job, okay? Accountability, baby, is not a job. It's something that can actually help you, but it's not a job. It's not something that is that should be imposed or held. It's not a punishment. A lot of the times people are like, oh, I'ma hold them accountable for their action. Oh, I'ma do this, I'ma do that. No, it's not a punishment. That is not what accountability is. Accountability is different from punishment, okay? Someone cannot be held accountable. You can hold a baby. You know what I'm saying? You can hold a baby to the people that have babies. Shout out to y'all. You can hold a baby, okay? You can hold a bag. You can hold a bag of groceries, but you cannot be held accountable. You cannot be held accountable. That's not what accountability is. It's not something that you could necessarily hold someone to. This is why I say you can't hold someone accountable, okay? Think about a baby. You're trying to hold a baby and the baby don't want to be held. What do the baby do? The baby start fighting back. So if you look at accountability as something that can be held, people start fighting back when they feel like it's something that they need to be held for you get what I'm trying to say especially if they don't want to be accountable for that last but not least it's not something that you sh you you should expect to be rewarded for to me when you have accountability in something the results itself will reward you so let's say again because I told y'all Accountability is an obligation. It's being willing to own something, right? So taking responsibility for your action, owning what you're supposed to do, owning what you said that you were gonna do, owning it, right? That's how I look at accountability. It's more of ownership because I feel like when you look at it that way, it's not looked at in a negative way and it don't make you wanna fight back or run away from what you are actually supposed to do. Your results will reward you. Let's say you decide to take ownership and say, you know what? I'm gonna save $5 every 
every single day for 365 days consistently. If you own that action, right? And you save $5 every single day for 365 days. By the end of those 365 days, you will have $1,825 in your account. No one needs to hold you accountable, none of that. You just need to take ownership of your action, own up to the action and do it every single day. And the results itself will reward you. So it's not something to be punished for. It's not something to necessarily be rewarded for. Back to what is accountability again, because I want to help people get this. I want people to stop looking at it as a negative thing. I want people to stop looking at it as something to run away from, something to avoid, something to push away, something to fight. Like I want people to stop looking at accountability that way and to look at it in a more positive light. Ownership is what accountability is. And when you own something, you take pride in owning it, right? It's also a character trait. It's a part of who you are. If you say you're going to do something, you're going to stand on that. That's what accountability is. It's you owning and doing what you said you're going to do regardless of the outcome. It's a life stance. It's what you accept as priority, what you accept as important. If something is important to you, you're going to own it and you're going to do whatever it is that you're supposed to do. Next thing I say accountability is, it's the willingness to own your action, to own your results, to own your outcome. Perfect example of accountability, y'all, is me concerning my YouTube channel, baby. When I tell y'all, when I tell y'all, it's not easy. I promise you it's not easy, but I said I'm going to do this. I said I'm going to do this until I get to where I want to be and I have to stand on that. As I continue to stand on that, as I continue to take ownership of that decision that I have made, the results are showing. My channel is growing. I'm connecting with more people all over the world and my dreams are just slowly but surely becoming a reality. So it's the willingness to just own your action. Whatever action you need to take concerning your dreams, whatever action you need to take concerning your goals, just own it. It's not easy, I promise. It might not be easy. Every day is not gonna be easy. Some days will be easier than others, but own that action. If you say you are going to start a business, own it and start the business and see it through until you actually start it. And even after you start it, don't quit because things get hard. Don't give up because things get hard. Keep going and just own the fact that you said, you know what, I'm gonna start a business. This is my goal. This is my vision concerning the business and see it through until you get to where you wanna be concerned in that business. It's you willingly owning your action, your results, your outcome, regardless of the circumstances. You can't force somebody to be willing to do something that they don't want to do. That's what I'm saying. You have to take the negative perspective away from accountability and look at it as in a positive way. If you're willing to be accountable, you will be accountable. If you're willing to take ownership, you will take ownership of whatever it is that you want to take ownership for, especially concerning your dreams, especially concerning your goals. It's something that will be done naturally. So that's what I'm saying. Accountability is you being willing to own your action. No one can force you to, to own your action. There some people they have you know done wrong and made mistakes and they still deny it they still don't own it that's not being accountable even if you punish them put them in jail they still not owning the fact that they committed the crime you catch them red-handed on camera and they're not owning the fact that they committed the crime so accountability is ownership so i hope that after this video you look at accountability in a different light you look at it in a more positive light and you learn to just embrace it Another point that I had is accountability is freedom of choice. That's the foundation of accountability. It's you freely choosing. Am I gonna wake up today? If I'm trying to lose weight, am I gonna wake up and go to the gym? As I said, I'm gonna go to the gym. Am I gonna wake up and pick Burger King or a salad? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Like it's literally freedom of choice. When I wake up, I have the choice. Am I gonna film today? Am I gonna upload today? Am I gonna drop a video today? Am I gonna give the people what they want? 
want, baby? That's the million dollar question. I told y'all, I'm gonna be giving y'all content, right? I'm gonna be giving y'all content way more than I was before in a different format, but I have to stand on it. And I'm choosing every day when I wake up. I don't feel like it every day. The circumstances are not always in my favor every day, but I make the choice every single day that I'm gonna get in front of this camera. I'm gonna film an amazing video. I'm gonna film a powerful video. I'm gonna film a life changing video. I'm gonna film an inspiring video. I'm gonna film some sort of amazing video to put on the internet to reach millions of people all over the world. It is a choice. You can freely choose to own your actions and your decisions. No one can force you to, right? That's why I said, even if you punish somebody for their action, that way not hold them, that's not holding them accountable because you could punish somebody for a crime, they come out of jail and they go and commit the same crime again because they didn't take ownership for it. So you have to take ownership of your decisions. You have to take ownership of your choices, of the choices you make. If you haven't started the business that you've always wanted to start it, it's on you. If you haven't pursued that dream, if you haven't pursued that goal, it's on you, baby. It's all on you. You have to own it and say, you know what? This business is waiting on me. This this opportunity is waiting on me. This goal to lose weight is waiting on me. The decision to pursue this goal, to start this business, to quit my job, to stop working a nine to five, to start working you know, on my goal, working for myself, being an entrepreneur, being a boss, it's on me. It's me owning that decision and getting up every single day and making the, the choice to freely work towards that goal or that decision. Accountability is realizing you always have a choice. You don't have to do anything. Everything is a choice. But remember, your results will always show. If you did not work on your business, if you did not follow your dreams, if you did not follow your goals, it is going to show. If you're following your dreams, if you're following your goals, it is going to show. The results will eventually reward you. But remember, the bottom line is you have a freedom of choice. And when you approach things with an I choose to attitude versus I have to attitude, attitude, you give your best and it's 10 times more empowering. If you say, you know what, I'm getting up every day and I'm going to choose to go after this goal. I'm going to get in that gym. I don't care how tired I feel. I don't care how many pre-workouts I, pre I got to drink. I'm getting in this gym. I'm getting fit. I'm getting sh in shape. I'm about to look the best that I have ever looked. It's a freedom of choice. It's so empowering when you wake up every day and you exercise that right of choice. I feel like that's something that a lot of human beings tend to forget is that they have the freedom of choice. You can get up every day and choose to go to your nine to five that you hate, or you could choose to say, you know what, I'm gonna go to this nine to five that I hate. But after I get out at five o'clock, baby, I'm gonna apply 30 minutes a day to my business. I'm gonna apply an hour a day to my business, to my goal, to my dream, to my passion, to something, baby, that I have always wanted to achieve, that I have always wanted to accomplish. It is a choice. So in other words, you choose your actions and you choose your results. As I told you, if you wake up every single day and you choose to save $5 a day for 365 days, automatically the results is you are going to get $1,825 in your account. So the actions you choose well, naturally you're going to choose your results. If you choose to wake up every day, work hard, apply yourself to your dreams, to your goals, the results will show. Eventually you will achieve those dreams. Eventually you will achieve those goals. So you have to choose. Remember the choice is yours. Accountability is not consequences. It's simply ownership. Own what you could control. You can control your thoughts. You can control your actions. So you have to choose every single day that, you know what? I have a right. When I get off from my job, I have a right to apply 30 minutes a day towards that goal, 20 minutes a day towards that goal. You have a choice. There are two quotes that I took from this book that I was reading concerning accountability that I loved so, 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 so much. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like it will inspire you even more. It will motivate you even more. It will stir you up even more. So it says true accountability actively confronts the truth. It confronts it with freedom of choice and the consequences of those choices. So remember, consequences just mean the outcome of those choices. If you choose to save your $5 a day, you choose to have your $1,825 
at the end of the year. If you choose not to save your $5 a day, you're choosing to not have $1,825 at the end of the year. If you choose not to wake up and commit yourself to going to the gym every single day or three times a week, five times a week, whatever is manageable for you, you're choosing to be unfit. You're choosing to be out of shape. If you choose to only work your butt off to build somebody else's dream, to go to that nine to five and never put time and action into your own dreams, into your own goals, you're choosing to live a life unfulfilled, unaccomplishing your actual dreams and your actual goals. So you have to just remember you have the freedom of choice and the consequences of those choices. In this way, accountability is extremely empowering when you realize that you have a freedom of choice, but you must be willing to confront reality and the truth of your situation. And sometimes, as I said, the truth of your situation might be, you know what? This is my goal. This is my dream, right? I want to be a YouTuber. As a YouTuber, maybe you could only manage to drop one video a week. That's fine. But consistently drop that one video a week until you're able to drop two videos a week, three videos a week, until you're able to get in a position where you can do more to sooner accomplish your dreams and your goal. Maybe you could only go to the gym once a week, twice a week, three times a week. That's completely okay. But start where you are and confront your reality and just pursue that dream, pursue that goal. At the end of the day, the only accountability that truly exists is self-accountability. Someone else cannot hold you accountable, but you can hold yourself accountable. Someone else cannot own your actions for you. Only you can own your actions. Only you can own your decisions. And to be successful, you must develop the mental honesty and the courage to own your thinking, your actions, and your results. It's not an easy thing to do. If you're not successful, if you're not wealthy right now, it's not easy to own your thinking and say, you know what? I think like a poor person. I think like a broke person. I think like an unsuccessful person. Let me work and discipline myself to change that. It ain't easy, baby. It ain't, because if it was easy, everybody will be doing it. But the beautiful thing that it is absolutely possible. I am done talking about accountability. Just remember y'all, accountability is ownership. It's ownership. You have the pride, you have the joy, you have the confidence to own whatever decision you choose to make, own whatever actions you decide to take. Now I'm gonna talk about an accountability partner. This piece is gonna be pretty short, but I feel like it's super duper helpful because I feel having an accountability partner in different categories of your life, in different areas of your life is super duper helpful. Now an accountability partner, according to the definition, an accountability partner is someone who supports another person to keep a commitment or maintain progress on a desired goal. It's not someone that holds you accountable, but it's someone that supports you in whatever decision decision it is that you decide to make. If you decide to become a millionaire, if you decide to start a business, if you decide to become successful, it's someone that supports you in that decision. They check in with you every day. They check in with you and see, hey, what are you doing? You see the thing that I love about YouTube, you guys that are watching my videos, you guys that are my supporters, that you know comment on my videos, that like my videos, that share them, all of those things that give me feedback, you guys are my accountability partners because you guys are supporting me in my dream, in my vision and the decision I am making to become a successful YouTuber. So an accountability partner is anyone that supports you in your decision. That I feel like is very important. It's very empowering, you know, because if I go a few days without dropping videos, I promise you, I get phone calls. I run into people and they're like, when is the next video? And it's not because it's like, oh, like you're a bad person because you didn't drop the video. No, they're counting on you to be inspired, to be motivated when you drop, when I drop those videos. So I have to own that because it's a decision I made. I decided I'm going to drop videos. I decided I want to be successful on YouTube. I decided that I want to create content that motivates, that inspires, that empower people, that changes their lives. So since I've made that decision and I put it out there to the world for a lot of people to see, they are going to ask. And sometimes, you know, financially, it's your spouse that might hold you accountable. It's your spouse that might check in and say, hey, did you pay that bill? You know, if you live with your parents, your parents might say, hey, did you pay that bill? Did you take care of this? Did you take care of that? You know, and the last part I wanted to cover concerning that is they will often be a trusted friend or an acquaintance who will regularly ask an individual about their progress or receive confessions of moral wrongdoing. Now, 
I wouldn't focus too much on the confession of the moral wrongdoing because again, that could be taken in a negative way. But even if you open up to someone and say, hey, you know what? I Let's say I open up and I say, dang, I want to be a successful YouTuber, right? But I've been lazy. I haven't dropped content for a week. They can say, you know what? Why haven't you dropped content for a week? Let me help you fix whatever the problem is behind you doing that moral wrong. Again, someone, another way to look at an account accountability partner because it doesn't have to be someone necessarily just checking in with your progress but it could also be someone committed to a task to get the same desired outcome you you, it's you and someone else, right? Both of you are pursuing your dreams and pursuing your goal to quit your nine to five, let's say for an example, right? If both of you are pursuing that, one might be doing a business, another one might be doing YouTube, but you're committed to the same outcome. You can motivate each other, you can inspire each other, you could feed off of each other energy. And in addition to that, you could check in with each other's progress to see how it's going to see the outcome of it. So that is, you know, the accountability partner of it, which I think is amazing. Amazing. get around people that are like-minded get around people that are going after the same you know dreams goals and desired outcomes so that you can stay inspired and it will help you feel more motivated to take ownership <laughs> as I was mentioning and to be accountable of your action that is all I have for you guys in this video don't be afraid of accountability it can set you free it can change your life it can help you to move forward and progress in ways that you have never progressed and what's better than one person being accountable two people being accountable together but two is always better than one they always say teamwork makes the dream work don't be scared to be accountable don't be scared to take ownership of going after your dreams going after your goals and don't be scared to partner up with someone who is open and willing to take ownership of doing the same exact thing so that is all i have for you guys i appreciate y'all so so much for watching this video thank you so so much for tuning in i appreciate you guys i'm gonna see y'all in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great bye